Right before we came on the air, I saw this story. Dr. Alan Sills, who is the NFL's medical chief, said, quote, I think what Carson Wentz did is heroic and should be highlighted as an example of how an unbelievably skilled and competitive athlete understands the seriousness of concussion injury and is willing to honestly report it and receive the care that he needs, independent of his desire and drive to continue to participate in the game. And I agree, I'd like to say for the record, I fully agree. We live in an era now where we must understand the significance and importance of concussions, and so I applaud Wentz for what he did. But I also have been around football players enough mm -hmm. to know that there was a time up until very recently where a lot of his teammates would have an issue with him doing that and think it was soft for him to tell the doctors, yeah, my head doesn't feel right. Do we still live in that time? Do you believe some of his teammates feel that way? I'm one of them. I, I, I'm not his teammate, but I think like that. When I instantly hear that, I'm 36 years old, so I grew up in an era where we didn't really pay attention to head injuries at, at that point yet. And so when I initially hear it, I think to myself, I would have never done that. Matthew Stafford would have never done that, and that's soft. But I am in the process of changing the way I look at head injuries, and that's important. And I have three sons, and I hope that if my sons play football and they're in this same situation, they do have the courage, and they do have the wherewithal, and they do have the big-picture view to make the decision Carson Wentz did, because I didn't make that decision in that time. And and I think there's, a, there's value and importance to that. Yeah, and honestly, I think it's the gutsiest thing Carson's done since throwing a touchdown pass on a torn ACL against the, the mm. Los Angeles Rams. And I, I'm new age, Greeny. And so maybe it's soft. Maybe it's just because I studied the brain, and I studied chronic traumatic encephalopathy, and I know what that it looks like. But Carson Wentz, we already know the dude is tough. So it's not a matter of toughness, but unlike physical injuries that you can see, the brain injury is hidden. And so you don't know just how detailed it is. But think about this. In the biggest moment, on the biggest stage, where everybody knows, hey, Carson, if you come out, you will be judged. The dude was like, hey, man, if I stay in this game, I more than likely won't help the team. I had a concussion I played through. I got back to my home in Austin, and I didn't know where I was. I respect Carson mm. Wentz. Hey, Bob. Oh, part of it is he hasn't finished the last three seasons. And so the pro like everyone looks at that, and you just lump them all together. And so like the old school guy in me, we don't really delineate between like real physical injuries and then brain injuries. Right. Yeah. And that's something that's completely different. We're just mm -hmm. watching. We just think bone and brain. Well, yes. Exactly. And it's all the same. And we're sitting there, you know, glorifying Anthony Munoz coming back, battling through that knee injury to play in the bowl, uh, the Rose Bowl game. I hear stories about my dad growing up. He gets hit in the side of the head, yep. ruptures his eardrum. They jam some cotton in it. And like, you go back and play. And it's uh, how, it's how about Zach Ertz in that very game and playing with a, what, a perforated uh, kidney? Kidney? Yeah, yeah, Zach Ertz. I, I called Zach Ertz on FaceTime right after he messed up his kidney. The dude could barely walk, all right? I just didn't tell it. But, like, the dude was in a ton of pain. We laud him. There's a difference, though. You can get in an X-ray machine. You can get in an MRI machine. You can see ligaments. You can see breaks. You can see fractures. But right now, we are, with our knowledge of the brain greenie, in a very limited space. So you can't tell a guy to go out there and play with a head injury. It's a different beast. I think your viewpoint is spot on and fascinating. And it's important for kids at home to hear it, that as tough as Carson Wentz was in that Rams game, playing on one leg with the torn ACL, he was as equally as tough making this decision to make sure 30 years from now, mm -hmm. that was more important than in that moment. Let's keep this the in mind, Greedy. Let me say one more thing. Quick. Remember, there was a video of his wife carrying his suit yeah. out of the stadium. The dude couldn't put his suit back on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what are we talking about? No. I, I think it's extraordinarily important for young football players of all ages to hear this and recognize that your heroes, the quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles, had the guts to do that, and you should too. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, Subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.